everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to Fixing It Up with Sandra. And in case you're new here, I'm Sandra. And let me just say, it feels so good to be back. So for those who um, are new to the channel, maybe this is the first video that you've clicked on, um, I have been away for about six months um, dealing with uh, cervical cancer and I'm feeling good now. I still don't have the all clear from my doctors until for like another month and a half, but I feel so much better. Um, it's been quite a journey and a journey that I will talk about at some point here on YouTube. Um, but in the meantime, I was just, like I said, just feeling really good, um, starting to get back into my regular routine, which means filming beginner tutorials, crafting, all of the fun stuff that I love. So. I decided why not jump on here and do a wreath for you guys. And I know there's a lot of, there's been a lot of comments and questions over the last six months that I haven't gotten to. And hopefully at some point I will get to get to it, um, answer your guys' questions and comments. Um, but for right now, I just want to, I just want to have some fun. So anyways, thank you so much for staying with me and subscribing and all of the fun stuff. And today we are going to make a fun wreath super simple, very beginner level. Um, I've done a lot of the prep already, so this video should kind of fly, go kind of fast. Um, but of course, if you have any questions, please feel free, free to leave it in the comments and I will get back to you guys on the on this video. So anyways, okay, so today we are going to do a patriotic wreath. We're not gonna do a Valentine's Day wreath, I'm a little past that but we're gonna do a patriotic wreath using this sign, which I've had for quite some time and I've just been wanting to use it. And it's from Three Bird Nest Co. Here is the company. I get them off of Etsy. You can get signs square or round, small or large from this company and they have all kinds for all seasons, for any occasion. I highly recommend that you check this place out. Very reasonable price. I love them. I've used them for years. Um, we are going to be using a wreath frame from the Dollar Tree, which I've already prepped, and then I'll go over like how I decided what goes where. We are going to be using a 20, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm wrong. This is a 12 inch mesh that I've cut to 23 inches. So I cut the 12 inch to 23 inches in length. And we're doing red and white okay so for those who are beginners and the reason why I'm going to talk about this for just a moment is because so many comments and questions come from beginners that is why you guys are tuning in so I want to be I want to keep with that theme and help you guys create these wreaths without making it seem so hard you know because when I would watch videos they would seem really kind of hard to follow and as a beginner even though I'm a five year beginner, um, I still want to know step by step. So like I said, you can grab a wreath from a wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. This is a 14 inch frame. I grabbed some pipe cleaner, some red pipe cleaner. And what I did is I did not cut the pipe cleaner because we're going to be adding ribbon. So I want my pipe cleaners to be long. I went ahead on an every um, like cross bracket right here. I put a um, pipe cleaner. And if I say um a lot, which I already do normally, but because of all of my treatments, I kind of have like what they call chemo brain where I will be talking and then the words just completely leave me. So I do apologize for that right now because it might happen throughout the video. And so I went and put a pipe cleaner on every single one. And then what I did after that is in the center, I wrapped it around both these center bars right here, and then placed a, one in the middle, okay? The reason why I did that is just because I wanted to. There's no rhyme or reason why I did this. It's not called a certain thing. It's just, this is where I decided that I wanted to place my pipe cleaners. For those who are beginners, who, who are curious like me, like, why did you place your pipe, pipe cleaners where you put them? Because that's the reason why, <laughs> because I thought it would look good. I know it'll look good. I've done this plenty of times. Um, and the reason why I cut it in 23 inches in length is because I want it to be really full. So, and like I said, I did red and I did white. Um, 
And so now that we have our pipe cleaners, I'm gonna go ahead and open, let me pull the camera down so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is open up all of my pipe cleaners just to make it easier to lay my mesh in there. And all right, and if you'll notice, we have 12 pipe cleaners on our wreath frame. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, kind of tuck this off to the side, I'm gonna grab my first piece of mesh, and I think we're gonna double this up. We're gonna put the red with the white. And let me just tuck that over there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is lay it out. I like to tuck the edges, and what we're gonna do is called the uh, cruffle. We're just gonna scrunch this, and this is the easiest way to make a wreath. I love this method, even though you do cut the mesh, um, it's one of my favorite ways to make a wreath. So you're gonna do this and then just slowly scrunch it like so until you get to the end and then leave that little edge tucked under and then grab that like so and then you have a bow like this, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the white with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck this in my fingers like so. It's been a minute, so I'm gonna just tuck it like that, and then I'm gonna grab my other one, and then my right one, and then do the same over here. And if you want, you could always, if it's like too hard to do, you can get a clamp, or I'm just gonna lay my scissors right there. Now you can lay the mesh on top of each other and do it like so, but that's a little difficult as well. But I'm just gonna do this one at a time. All right, and then now we have two. So now I have two bows. I like to call them bows. So this is what we have, okay? Now we're going to bring our wreath back over. We're going to find a pipe cleaner and we are going to place it in the pipe cleaner. Give it a good twist. And now you can let it lay like this, like the like the two colors like on top of each other, or you can turn it and make them side by side if you want, okay? Like so. It's totally up to you how you want to design your wreath. So you can leave it like that, and then when we get to the end, decide, hey, you know, I don't want it laying flat like this, I wanna lay it sideways, whatever you wanna do. And we're gonna continue this all the way around the wreath. And you can also, so once you start doing this, you can kind of you just go a little faster. It's okay, like there's no wrong way to scrunch. There is absolutely no wrong, wrong way. What you can also do is when you do one, go ahead and lay it in your pipe cleaner, like so, and just give it one good twist and then grab your second color. And Do like so, and then place the second color right on top. So there's multiple ways to do this. There's no wrong way to do it. I just want you guys to know for the beginners, um, there is no wrong way. Just get both colors on there, and then you can play with it, like, you know, adjust it as you want, as you go, or you can wait till the very end to do so. But we're gonna do a few more, we'll do one more, and then we're gonna fast forward this so we aren't wasting any time. And I did like the method of just putting it in there. And then you'll see that it's gonna get very full and very poofy, which I love. All right, and then we're gonna do one more right here. All right, and there we go. I'm loving it already. Okay, and 
I'm gonna cut a few more pieces. I'm just gonna take this off to the side. I'm just gonna cut a few more pieces of my mesh. And I, for a cutter, highly recommend the cutters from the Dollar Tree. These are amazing, very sharp. I use them constantly and it saves you a lot of money because crafting can get very expensive. So if you can find something that works for you that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, uh, definitely do it. And like I said, the, um, the cutters from the Dollar Tree are just as fabulous as the ones that you can get online or from Walmart and that costs, you know, upwards to like, you know, 20 some odd dollars. I really like this cutter. All right, just cut a few more pieces. All right, and let's finish up our wreath. All right, you guys, the entire wreath is filled and you can see how fluffy it is. Let me just move the camera up. You can see how full and fluffy this is. And again, because we are close to Valentine's Day, this could be a cute Valentine's Day wreath. However, we're sticking with the patriotic um, theme. But this is a great, I love how this looks. This is a great technique, um, super easy. And now we're going to add our ribbon. Okay, so we're gonna just tuck this off to the side and we're gonna talk ribbon. Now, for this, um, we are not going to be making your typical bow. Oh, unstick that. I am just going to cut ribbon. I saw this technique um, on one of like, I think maybe the wreath shop or one of the wreath making Instagram accounts. And so what I decided to do was copy it. So <laughs> what we're gonna do, um, I have several different ribbons right here. Let's see how many you have. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think we're gonna add this one too. But um, I have a bunch of different ribbons that I cut to 18 inches in length. And what we're gonna do is just stack it and then put it into our wreath. And so I've got all those cut. I've cut the little edges, the little ends um, in duck's tail, I believe it is. Again, my memory is not on par. And this is the first wreath I've made in six months. So <laughs> bear with me. But we cut the ends all fancy. And now I'm going to cut this last ribbon because I think we just need a little bit more ribbon. And a little bit more blue is what I wanted. So I have my industrial scissors. It's gonna cut this end off and then all right, so we're gonna measure out 18 inches. And why 18 inches is because I wanted the ribbon to hang. Um, because normally I do like 16, but I I really want the ribbon to just kind of hang over, kind of like a firecracker. So that's why I decided a little bit longer. So we went with the 18 inches. If you want to go longer, go longer. This is nothing that is set in stone saying that it has to be the 18 inches. So we're just gonna do the fancy cuts. One for that side, because we're gonna do two bunches. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna cut, maybe I'll cut two of these. We'll see. I'm gonna get this all ready and then we'll see if I like the amount of ribbon that I have. And I went with all kinds of like fabrics when it comes to the ribbon. I have like a satiny one. I kind of have like a burlapy kind of one. I have a glitter, glitter, glittery one, my goodness. And so don't feel like you have to have the same texture of ribbon all across the board. Mixing it up can just give it that really cute, um, like a cute dimension dimension. Yeah. My words are all jumbled up today, but anyways, so here we go. Here's all the ribbon that I have and we're just going to stack them. And these are from the dollar store, uh, Michael's yard sales, all that fun stuff. So don't be afraid to get ribbon wherever you can find it cheap. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay this out and 
just kind of stack the ribbon on top of each other. And I really love this ribbon. I think I got this ribbon at Dollar General and it absolutely goes perfect with what we're doing today. So I'm just gonna do this and do that and do this. All right. I think I have it exactly how I want it. So what you're gonna do is just basically like I just did, lay it on top of each other and then find your center, fold it in half, find the center like so. And then you're just gonna take, actually because we have our, our um, pipe cleaner is really long here, we're just gonna find a pipe cleaner and insert there. And make sure that you give it a really good tight twist because you don't want any of the ribbons falling out and I'm going to go ahead and twist multiple times and once you do so I'm just going to show you once you do so now I'm going to go ahead and spread out the ribbon I want it to look like a fire or, or um, yeah a firework so we're just going to pull this all apart and this will take a minute because we have like if you have a lot of them like I do which I thought would be the cutest. All right. I don't really want that one right there. And so 18 inches, as you can see, works perfect on this, um, on this wreath. So spread the bottom out now. So we're not gonna do any kind of bow I don't think we're gonna add any trinkets. We're just gonna do the ribbon and uh, and the sign. Okay, there we go. Very, very cute. Ah. There we go. So here is the ribbon on the wreath. And now we're gonna do that with the second one. And I'm just gonna kind of guess how I laid the, the first batch of ribbons, but it's okay if it's not the exact same. Um, I think we'll do this one. And this one. All right, there we go. Again, find your center and then I'm just gonna kind of go, not quite opposite, but kind of um, like diagonal from it. So not exactly directly across. And maybe we'll add some flowers to this too. See, here's the thing. I never really know what exactly I'm gonna put onto a wreath until I start making it. And that's where I find my inspiration. So sometimes I will have all kinds of things that I wanna put on it and then as I'm making it, I'm like, ugh, I don't know about that, which is okay. So now that I'm seeing this, I had no intentions on putting flowers on this thing, but now that I'm looking at it and I'm like, ooh, maybe some red, white, and blue flowers, maybe some of those cute little glittery balls on there. Um, I'm not quite sure, we'll see what happens when I get done. And then I'll just go to my office and uh, grab some uh, some extra trinkets to put on here. All right, now I've got all of this kind of folded over. And I will do like, I will um, show you what it looks like before we put the sign on. All right, one second. All right, so let's see what this looks like without the sign and see, oh God, it's so cute. <laughs> I love how that looks. Like I said, it looks like a big firework explosion. And I put carpet tape on the back of my mat so it wouldn't slide around and now it sticks all the time. So like I said, I didn't put it um, directly across. I kind of put it, you know, kind of diagonal. And now we're gonna put on our sign right here. And I do think it needs more. I think it needs more pizzazz. So I think I might go get some of the glitter balls and flowers. So 
I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is how I work. Joke's on us. I decided to do another set of ribbon. Um, I just didn't like how the, the flowers were gonna look, and then I didn't want to add the sparkly little balls because I'm like, you know, I still want it to be simple and rustic and whatnot. So we went with ribbon and I already cut it. So it's just a simple folding it over and finding a place for it on our wreath. And it's gonna go right here. And then next our sign's gonna go on and then we're gonna be done. So, and I cannot again say how good it feels to be back on this channel doing what I love. And again, this is my first attempt at crafting other than making stuff for my shop, um, which isn't crafting. I've been just making a lot of bath bombs and all of the bath products, but this is the first time crafting in six months. Um, and it just feels so good. It's like, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little excited. I'm a little just everything, you know, and the fact that I'm still here to do this, you know, you know, um, but yeah. All right. So I'm just separating all of my ribbon. And again, I just love how it just looks like an explosion. So now we have the three on there. Super, super cute. Okay, now our sign. Do I wish I had a bigger sign? Yes. Do I care right now? No. I have been wanting to use this sign for a very long time, so we're just gonna go ahead and work with it. So I've already got the two in here, so what I'm gonna do, the holes are really hard to see, which is what I love about this company, um, but there are four holes, and we are going to place a pipe cleaner through every single hole. And there we go. Give it a twist. And just to let you know, if you plan on ordering through um, Three Birds Nest um, for a sign, sometimes it does take, you know, a few weeks. And I say a few very loosely because sometimes it's taken two to three weeks. Sometimes it takes a week. But if you're looking to get like specific holiday stuff, don't wait till the very last minute thinking it'll come within 48 hours like Amazon. You know, this is Etsy. These are handmade and whatnot. So order yours well in advance. And that's what I think is so great about this website is that you are able to get any holiday at any time. Although when the holidays start to approach, there's a bigger selection, but you can still get like Halloween right now. So. Anyways, so we've got our four placements. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna just lay it right here and I lay it gently right there and then we're just gonna kind of see where we're going to place it on the um, wreath frame. And my pipe cleaners may just be a hair too short, but that's okay. We're gonna work with what we got. So I'm just gonna Place it right here, give it a couple of twists. All right, and then it's gonna work my mesh around. It's kind of, you know, to kind of hide the, the, um, the pipe cleaner. And then I'm gonna go on its opposite end and attach it over here. And this will let me know if I need to pull it just a little bit tighter, which I doubt because my pipe cleaners are already just a hair too short. So maybe if you have wire, you can get floral wire from the Dollar Tree. I have some, but like I said, I'm just gonna use these pipe cleaners and work with what I got. All right. All right, it's working just fine, the pipe cleaners. It's pulling it exactly how I want it. Now I'm gonna adjust my ribbon so I'm not covering the sign because like I said, it is a little smaller than I would like, but we're working with it. All right, so here we go. See, I would love a bigger one. This is just what we do. All right, so now I'm just gonna attach the other sides 
And then afterwards, yes, I will go through and cut all of the pipe cleaners that are holding the mesh in. But that's my very, very last step because as you can see, I like to change my mind. So you never know if I wanna add anything. So I just leave them till the very, very end. And here. Okay. All right, there we go. We get the last one on here. I just wanted to wrap around one more time. All right. And then of course, adjust the ribbon to make sure it's not covering, no matter what the size is, you know. All right, here it is. Bam. How cute is this? I love it. I love the simplicity of it. I like that the fact that we don't have all the trinkets like I originally wanted. Um, the farmhouse ribbon right here that I got from the Dollar General. And I got this like a year ago. Um, so I don't know if they still have it or not, but isn't it super adorable? I absolutely love this. And this is on a 14 inch dollar store frame. And I think it came out just perfect. I think it's so cute. And I will get this into my shop um, tomorrow. Super, super cute. And then like I said, I'm gonna go back through and take my handy dandy scissors right here and then just cut the excess uh, pipe cleaners off and then just tuck the cut edges behind so it doesn't um, poke anybody. But what do you guys think? Simple cute. The sign is small. You don't need to comment that. I get it, but we're just working with it. So anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. And, um, like I said, it's just a real joy to be back on here doing what I love being with you guys, because I have missed you guys so much. And at some point we'll be doing lives again, once I kind of get my footing back underneath me. Um, and again, I will be sharing my my journey i'm still on my journey so um that's why I'm like you know what do i share right now because i'm still doing i'm still going through my cancer journey and again i'm not i haven't had the all clear yet so we're just keeping our fingers crossed and praying every single day so anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something if you have any questions feel free to leave that in the comments below. I will get back to everybody um, on this video. As for the other ones, I will try to get back to you guys um, as soon as possible, but look forward to some more tutorials coming. I'm not gonna do set dates because of everything that's just happening in my life. We're just gonna kind of wing it like we always do. So until next time, and who knows what we'll be doing, um, I hope you guys stay well, and thank you so much for being a subscriber. Mm -hmm.